Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a good day. Hey, listen, we're going to talk about Aptera and how they're coming out with their own MPPT controller. And this solar controller is very important for what Aptera is doing. So let's get right into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hey, listen, we're going to talk about something exciting here that Aptera really needed to do. And they actually had to come out with their own MPPT controller. And so let's let's get into this right now. Let's let's check this video out. What does our solar charger do differently or, or why did we decide to create our own solar charge controller versus get something off the shelf? Yeah, well, well, the first answer is we want to make the vehicle as efficient as possible so that we can deliver up to 40 miles a day of solar range. But more technically, uh, in your typical solar installation, you'll see very slow changes of, uh, of shading conditions or other kinds of differences. Uh, you know, for example, clouds moving overhead. But with an Aptera, you're driving down the highway or through a neighborhood, maybe on your trees, bridges, that will shade your, uh, your panels on the top of your Aptera in uh, very short intervals. And our controller has to correct for that quickly uh, in some conditions and slower in other conditions. So we can consistently deliver the maximum power to the battery even when driving down a highway in these rapidly changing shading conditions. Got it, so it's ultra fast and ultra efficient. That's great. Could you explain a little bit about the development of the solar charger? Maybe like when you got here, where it was at? and where it's at now, and maybe even the one that's in Gamma, and the differences between the one in Gamma and the one we're going to production with? Yeah, yeah, so we had we had the beginnings of a solar charger when I arrived, and uh, you know, I, I was lucky to see the, the solar charger really uh, come to fruition, and, and now we're sitting in, a, in an Aptera that's, that's powered by the sun, literally. Uh, which is super cool. Super cool. Uh, so we have a solar charger that works, but what we want to deliver is the best solar charging system, you know, once we once we reach start of production. And what that's going to take is a lot of testing, testing, testing. We need to test these panels on, on actual Aptera vehicles with an Aptera solar charger in every kind of condition we can think of to make sure that we are delivering that, that maximum amount of power to the battery at all times. All right, so this is a picture of a charge controller for the solar panels to the battery. And this is a cheap version. This one actually costs between $11, $20. Uh, and here's a picture of one that's actually a better version. This one costs between uh, $250 to $350, uh, $250 to $350. But what is a solar charge controller? It's used to keep the battery from overcharging by regulating the voltage and current coming from the solar panel to the battery. It is programmed at 15 amps to 200 watt units and uses MPPT, maximum power point tracking, which is what he was talking about, to accelerate solar charging to the battery up to 30% per day. The MPPT checks the output of the solar panel compares it to the battery voltage and adjusts it to the best voltage in order to get maximum current to the battery. The solar charge controller uses a 25 amp circuit breaker to protect it against overcurrent and has a baseline of continuous power consumption of 35 milliamps. The 12 volt DC power is accessible via a female cigarette lighter socket and is implanted in a sidewall of the hard case and is protected against overcurrent by the internal circuitry of the solar charge controller. And so the solar charge controller basically protects the battery from uh, many different things. And this is basically designed for just house units. So you want to, if like if you have solar panel on your houses, that's what these panels are designed for. And the solar panel will usually have different readings uh, current coming from the panels, depending upon which type of panel you have, if part of the solar panel is covered by shade. 
And a lot of that happens when, like if your house have trees as the sun move, shade will move over the solar panel. Or if, you know, it's partly cloudy day and the clouds will block the sun sometimes. So that's why you need a solar um, charge controller. And that's why Aptera has to design their own solar charge controller because while the solar charge controller works on a slower basis as far as when the solar panels are placed in a specific spot and the shade comes across it very slowly, well, while you're driving in your Aptera, you're going to drive by shaded spots and that its shade is going to hit it real quick. So you need something that's going to operate a lot faster. And that's what these guys are doing, especially Chris sitting on the left side. Uh, he's designing these uh, personal solar charge controllers specifically for Aptera's use. And they are really, uh, of course, they have to do a lot of testing to make sure this is working properly. But we know Aptera is on the job. So these guys are really getting it together. And we know that when the Aptera comes out, these things are going to be working perfectly. So Aptera is always on it. They are coming out with new inventions. And this is another one that they're doing. And so no doubt that, you know, Aptera is definitely going to be on the move once they come out with these vehicles. And I can't wait to get mine. So that's going to be awesome. So the solar charge controller is something that's very needed. Um, it protects the battery. It protects the battery from short circuit. It protects them from um, overload, from overcurrent. It protects them from being overcharged, from under voltage and from over voltage. And these things could cause your battery to lose life. It'll shorten the battery's life or it will either cause the battery uh, to become damaged and it could end up with thermal runaway. So that's something that they really need to perfect. And of course, no doubt, like everything else that Aptera is doing, they're going to get this working properly as well. So give me your thoughts. Tell me what you think on this. Um, I really appreciate what Aptera is doing. Do you? Uh, just let me know in the comments below. I thank you once again. I want to say hi to my patrons. You guys are awesome. And if you're new here, you know, hit the like, ring the bell, subscribe, and you'll catch all my videos when they come out. Y'all take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. You have a good one. Bye-bye. Never ever.
ending. Hear me now.